seen the Yorks Polo Grounds. Max Schmeling, the Black Yulin, has been dethroned by Sharkey. In the 90s, meeting the famous toy bull, Mickey Walker, the greatest fighter New Jersey ever produced. King of the welder in the middleweight divisions. Mickey is moving up on the heavyweights. A victory over the German will move him a step nearer the throne the Jersey Idol long has sought. What chance does he have against the powerful reach of the massive Teuton? Only his courage and an indomitable ability to take punishment. For eight grueling, bloody rounds, Walker amazed all who saw the spectacle, but now the staggering blows of the German are just too much. Time and time again, Schmeling drives him to the ropes. And doggedly, pluckily, the bulldog and Walker refuses to quit. The only thing the matter with Mickey is, he never believed the man lived who he couldn't lick. For Schmeling, Walker is a target, but boy, oh boy, a target that's fighting back. him at will, and Mickey goes to the canvas for the count of five. But no man living can stand up before the vicious, deadly punching of the Schmeling who went on to beat Joe Lewis. The Jersey Idol is out on his feet. Now he's down for the count. Max retreats to a neutral corner as the bulldog wearily, dazedly shakes his head. It's the old, old story of a good little man trying to beat a good big man, and it just isn't in the cards. Superior weight, power, punch, and skill tip the scales too far. And Mickey Walker goes down into ring history as the guy who tried and lost. Groggy but game to the end, he's one of the greatest scrappers of all time, and that fight, fans, rings down the curtain on another fistic thriller of the past. So long, this is Bill Stern waiting for you at the ringside.